Hi guys, and I'm Kwaba to our channel. As usual, I'm the Jackie of the Jackie and Samoa. So today's video is one video that I have thought of recording for a while now, but I always end up my, talking myself out of it. I'm always like, what's the point? Or like, and I say it and then what happens? But today I decided to record anyway, and if you are watching this video, it means I made it, so yay. <laughs> Um, so this video, fortunately or unfortunately, isn't going to be a motivational talk video. It's just going to be a relatable one. One that says, oh, okay, I feel what you feel. Or that's a video that you can say, oh, I really understand. That is so relatable. So that's just what this video is. So the states of not knowing where your life is going, weird, right? So for me, what made it worse was I started thinking. So after my national service ends, What's the next step? Am I going to continue working or am I going to do my masters? If it's going to be masters, what am I going to study? Okay, now I know what I want to study, but that's long and hard. What if I never get there? What if I never get to the finish line? Or what if I lose out on life trying to chase some education? Or what if I don't even need that education in the first place? So if it's work that I'll work, what if I'm retained that um, where I'm working right now? Will I be able to continue? Do I want to build a career in a place I never wanted to be in in the first place? And this statement is not a bad statement. Um, if you watch a video on how we got our national service company, you understand what I mean by that. I'm not saying that where I'm working now is a bad place for an employee because it is not at all. So yeah, and then it comes in and it's like, oh no, I actually don't see myself being here forever then the question is so jackie where do you see yourself or worse <laughs> what if i'm not retained um am i going to look for a job elsewhere where am i going to be unemployed am i going to be an entrepreneur or do i go back and pick the first master's study option So yeah, well, that's a lot of questions and those are the things that I think about and wonder and ponder on, you know, and it could, it can get more worrying like when you see your mates and then they seem like they've got everything together. They are doing this, they are doing that, maybe they have this business, they have that business. Um, I remember once on Twitter, I saw a girl that I used to go to primary school with. You know, in primary school, mostly there's... A class and there's B class so let's say 3A and 3B um, so let's say I was in 3A and she was in 3B and then we used to win prices together like I'll be first in 3A she'll be first in 3B and stuff like that so anyway I saw I'm, I saw her um, account on Twitter I followed her and stuff and then from her tweets I could tell that like she's in um, medical school or something and I was just like oh my god this was somebody I started the same primary school with we are the same place once now it's like she knows what she wants maybe she wants to be a doctor or something she's in school um what's happening to me <laughs> and maybe actually that's not the case we all don't even have our things together we all don't have our lives together i don't know if it's common in people who are done with university or national service and are trying to figure out the next step or it's something about our ages that's in the 20s where we are all trying to figure out or trying to build a life that we will be living for the next 30 years or for the rest of our lives or maybe people who are done with this are just trying to find the next step in university or whatever I don't know <laughs> but what I know is that it's it's a common feeling it's not a feeling that I am the only one feeling I'm sure lots of people feel the same and no I haven't found my answers yet this I'm not coming to say I used to be like this and then I went I did this and I did that and I went for this seminar or I prayed and God showed me in a dream and I saw my path and I saw a treasure no even though all these things can and will help that is not what this video is about I'm not necessarily giving a solution I'm just expressing a feeling that 
people might have felt before or that are feeling right now and to say it's okay we just shouldn't be discouraged we'll get there we'll make it the spanish would say animal which also means like cheer up or come on we've all got a bright future ahead of us we should just work hard so i'll see you guys in another video i love you safa loves you bye bye